superwoman syndrome. I see women falling foul of the syndrome on a daily basis, dropping like flies as they leave the train station. I might as well do it myself as no one can do it as well as me. I have a handle on it all. If I have to stay up until midnight catching up on my work so that I can attend musical theater practice or football practice, it's worth it. Are there familiar mantras? Listen and listen carefully. It's okay not to be able to do it all. Repeat after me. It's okay not to be able to do it all. Now say it out loud. It's okay not to be able to do it all. Our ability to do it all is a consistent theme from every woman I have spoken to, but a myth I think we perpetuate, just like the one that supermodels don't have cellulite. Right. Alicia describes how we are victims of our own ability. We just get up and do, unable to say no. I'm a private pilot, and it's mostly men in my small little flight club. The women just get up and do. Now it's got to the point that they're afraid to do anything without sending me an email asking me, "What do you think about this, Alicia?" And I think, "Oh no, I created a monster." A lot of times, I'll tease them. I'll say, "Why don't you go and ask your wife? She's been doing things for a very long time, you know." Because you just can't make that decision yourself, and they just crack up because I know a lot of their spouses. It's so funny. I just have to shake my head a lot. These guys cannot make a decision. Your capability can render others incapable. Be careful not to overplay your strength and leave those around you too weak to contribute.